How to change a sprite's opacity in Cocos 2D. Demo using the Hello World Light. Produced by Lon Hausford. This tutorial shows you four ways to change the opacity of a Cocos 2D sprite. This is the starting Cocos 2D Xcode project running in the simulator. We have a planet sprite and a rocket ship sprite. Here is the Cocos 2D project at the end of this tutorial. After delay, the rocket ship fades into view. Then we have it fade out again. Then a fade to about 75% opacity. Then the ship fades back to zero opacity. Then to about 25% opacity, the ship's cloaking device might be malfunctioning then back to zero opacity, and finally the ship fades into 100% opacity. Let's dig into the coding for this. The starting project has a planet ping file and a ship ping file. The planet's ping file is 300 by 285 pixels. The ship's ping file is 189 by 100 pixels. In the Hello World Layer implementation file, we have some code already in place. First, a sprite for the planet ping file is created, then positioned at 23160 about center screen, and it is added to the Hello World Layer first. This will place the planet sprite furthest back in the Hello World Layer. Then for the ship ping file, we create its sprite, place it about center at 22160, and add it to the Hello World layer. This makes the ship sprite appear in front of the planet sprite. The remaining code is commented and we will use it later to save some time. Our first way of changing a sprite's opacity is to use the CC sprite opacity property. Let's experiment with this after the line where the ship's position is set. We type ship dot opacity and set the value to 194 or about 75%. The highest opacity value is 255 and the lowest is 0. Test in the simulator and you see the planet can be seen through the ship. Let's try another experiment with a 0 value. Test in the simulator and you see the ship is not visible. Leave the opacity value at 0 in case you were experimenting. The remaining ways to change a sprite's opacity involve CC actions. The commented code allows us to create an action sequence so we can try various combinations of these actions. The delay action is used to allow time to observe the start of each action. We see the delay action is already in the action sequence to ensure we can observe the first action. And we will run the actions on the ship sprite. The planet sprite will remain unchanged. After the delay action, we can use the CC fade in class as our second way to change the sprite's opacity. CC fade in is a CC action. CC fade in changes a sprite's opacity from 0 to 255 over time. Key to remember is CC fade in first changes the opacity to 0 regardless of what value you have set for the sprite's opacity. Let's use an object name of fade in. Set it equal to CC fade in action with duration and set the duration to two seconds. Add the fade in object to the action sequence and test in the simulator. And you can see the sprite fades in. Let's comment the ship opacity setting line and try again. Notice that the CC fade in first changes the opacity to zero before starting the fade in. Uncomment the ship opacity setting line. Now let's use CC fade out, which is our third way to change a sprite's opacity. CC fade out changes a sprite's opacity from 255 to zero over time. CC fade out always starts with the 255 before fading out. On the line that follows the CC fade in object, CC fade out and the object name of fade out. Then assign to CC fade out action with duration and the value of 1.5 seconds. 
add to the action sequence with both the delay object and the fade out object. Now test in the simulator. And you see we have the fade in of two seconds, a delay of two seconds, and then the fade out over 1.5 seconds. CC fade out and CC fade in are convenient actions when you need to make a complete change between 0 and 100% opacity. When you need an opacity other than 0 or 100%, then you can use our last technique, which is the class CC fade 2. So let's add that to the line after CC fade out to change the opacity to 194. Remember the opacity value range is 0 to 255. CC fade 2 and the name of the object fade to 194. Then assign to CC fade 2. Action with duration opacity. Set the duration to 1.75 and the opacity to 194. Again, we add the delay object to the action sequence and then the fade to 194 action. Test in the simulator. And after the fade in and fade out, you will see the fade in to 194. Let's add two more CC fade to objects. We can copy the line we have for creating fade to 194. And after that line, paste it twice. Change the object name for the first copy to fade to 128. And the opacity argument to 128. For the second copy, change the name to fade to 0 and the opacity value to 0. To save some time, copy the delay and fade to 194 parts of the CC sequence line, including the first space and the last comma, and paste that four times after the comma following fade to 194. Now we can change the first copy from 194 to 0. And the second copy change 194 to 128. The third copy from 194 to 0. The fourth copy change to the fade in object we created earlier. Run this in the simulator. The fade actions run as before. And then we see the fade to 0 using CC fade 2. And then we see the fade to 128 opacity. Then to 0 opacity again. Finally, the CC fade in action is run for full opacity. And that is our completed product. Thank you for watching.